try and make this a little bit roomy for us. I mean, aesthetically, ultimately all we're doing is, uh, you know, leaving ourselves in a stone hole for the night, but hey, it worked for Bilbo, it'll work for us. And all this cobblestone can be used for new tools and even a furnace, so we can actually make that dinner and get ourselves some cooked pork. Wow. Cooked pork. Not whatever that last thing was I said. Now, some of the earlier plans for this, what I'm thinking, is that we'll ultimately play our way through this adventure all the way up to the Ender Dragon. Sort of the final boss. Maybe even the Wither, if it's... You know, if we get people to really like and just kind of really enjoy the story and enjoy the adventure, maybe we'll go all the way through the Wither. But... The adventure is this. Where... Oh, darn. Well, my pick broke. So, it may as well be a good time enough to uh, show you guys how to make better tools. See, when my pick broke, now it's gone. Simple as that. And I really can't get through stone with my bare fists. I'm not Hulk Hogan. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make ourselves some more sticks. And just like before with the wood, we're going to make a pickaxe. But instead, we're going to use the cobblestone for it. The stone that we've been digging out of our cave here. And get ourselves our first stone pickaxe. The stone pickaxe tends to be one of the better, I find, because it just tears through the stone so fast compared to the uh, compared to the wood, and it's pretty renewable as far as resources go. Stone is everywhere in this world, and while there are a lot of other things that we could work with, oh, that's a beautiful sunset. <laughs> but while there are other resources that we could work with to build tools and make ourselves better things, like iron and even diamonds eventually, we'll definitely be using stone the most, I think. But like I said earlier, with the sun falling, we need to get ourselves defended. We have our stone, our wooden sword, and that really won't help us against, like, the entirety of the horde of monsters. So, we're going to want to protect our house with a door. Step out front, and boom! Now we got a door. <laughs> Not exactly the home of our dreams, is it? Well, we'll get there. Shut the door behind us so nothing nasty decides to uh, climb through the walkway when we are got our back turned. And I'll have to do something about that, too. All that coal's just going to taunt me, so why don't we grab that quick. I'll try to show the monsters here shortly, because they're going to be out fairly soon. Thankfully, this coal was hidden behind the dirt, so we're able to kind of dig it out without having to really worry about something coming in through the window. Because of all the monsters out there, they are some intelligent critters. They will find you. See, they may not have the best of brains, but what they do have are some very particular sets of skills. Skills that are made for hunting down people like us. And if we let them, they will find us. And they will kill us. So... Why don't we go ahead and fill this in with some of that cobblestone that we found earlier, that we dug up. There. It's kind of a castle-y look. I like it. Maybe one day we'll convert this into a dwarf fortress. It's a good game. So check that out at some point. But, we're going to hollow out the rest of this a little bit. Give ourselves some more room. And maybe tomorrow we can actually find some glass. Well, I say find glass, but I mean find sand. <laughs> because finding wild sand, the deadliest of prey, is the only way for us to actually make glass give ourselves some windows and some out some insight into what's going on out there. For now, though, if we put a ring of the cobblestone, we get a furnace. Now, you may remember that I mentioned a few minutes ago about cooking up some dinner. So we're going to plop our raw pork chop in there, throw in some coal, and it's going to cook. It's going to get nice and toasty in here, too. It's cold out there, after all. All that snow. So we need some heat. And these little dinky torches aren't exactly going to cut it, are they? <sighs> so 
such a harsh life for the first night. Let's arm ourselves and see if we... Okay. See if we can't find some kind of monster. See if there's anything going on out here. There's the moon. And I heard you. Where are you? That's a zombie. Not on fire this time. Come at me! Come on, come on. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Come on. What you got? Ha! And he's gone. Now those little blinky balls that just, uh, we absorbed into ourselves, those are experience orbs. We're going to need them. They're going to become very important later on. For now, though... <clears throat> Another contender has entered the ring. And with his death, I'm now very hungry. Look at that. I'm down four and a half meat pops. Gonna duck inside, shut the door, and... Dinner's done! So good. Well. <laughs> home sweet home for now. Let's take a peek here. So it looks like the entirety of that hillside is kind of out, like the weird angle that it's at. I think we could probably work with that. Turn it into something really cool if we mess with it a little bit. Modify this, get rid of the old dirt. See if maybe we can't turn this into like a massive bay window. Get a full sweep of the area. <laughs> It'll be particularly beautiful if it snows, which clearly it will at some point. And now I'm out of dirt. Brilliant. Oh, one more. Plunk. Let's duck back inside, shut the door, and... Well, why don't we see if we can't dig a little tunnel, see if we can't find where the edge is of that whole thing. Jeez. There it is. Okay. So. There's our door. Well, if we assume that this is sort of the wall, we can kind of start the room right here. There. Sort of start it this way and kind of carve out and back. That way we can manage to make our way through and create that bay window. See, there is one kind of monster out there somewhere that I really want to show off. I'm sure if many of you who are watching this have probably already seen one, even if you don't realize that it's here. Although, why wouldn't you? It's just as blocky as anything else in this place. But I'm sure many of you who are actually watching me right now have seen it, whether you realize it or not. It's going to be an interesting encounter when we find one, and uh, hopefully he doesn't find me first, because if he manages to, well, creep up on me, we're going to be in for a very uh, interesting time. It's going to be a blast. Now, one of the things I'm thinking about for the actual episodes here is setting it up so that, you know, we sort of play through the night, and then we'll end it at the beginning of the next day, after dawn rises, or some variant of it. Because I want to make these episodes at least marginally long, but I don't want to keep them too long for all of you. Those of you who actually want to sit back and watch, and just aren't going to have, you know, we're, we're, we all don't really have time to watch a noob play Minecraft for very long. I'm watching you, pig. I'm watching you what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's just go over here. They're... they're oh, God. They're just appearing. Oh. That's, that's how they get you. Ugh. 
Now, uh, it, a thought occurs. I've done something very, very dangerous here um, in leaving this one gap wide thing because there is another type of monster that could very easily squeeze his way in there and still another kind that could probably shoot me through it. So we're going to want to fix that and probably very soon. Oh, little flower. Oh, well, now they're together. I hear it. Oh, man. Do you guys hear that, that, like, rattling sound? Let's go ahead and just do this to make sure that the other type won't manage to, to slide through. I'm going to try and reveal the monsters as we go, so that it's not, like, all at once. But the moon is falling, so that's a good thing. It means maybe we can crawl out and see if we can't uh, do a little expedition, eh? Find ourselves some monsters. Hunt them down. That, right there, is a skeleton. Well, two skeletons. But that skeleton is the kind who can shoot me through the window. Well, he won't be able to once we have glass, but since we don't yet, he can pretty much shoot right through the hole. And end us with an arrow. Oh, wow. That's... We picked a good world, guys. We have a good world here. But now, as the sun rises, keep your eye on those skeletons, because they, they don't know what's coming yet. They're undead. They don't exactly have many brains, but there it is. Let dawn banish the terrible night, and let my sword banish this terrible archer. <laughs> he fell in and died. What happened to his buddy? There were two of them, after all. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Ow! I don't know if that was him or because I fell. But, it's dawn, everyone. We've survived the first night. We still have plenty of pigs. We still have a pork chop for lunch later on. And we have the startings of our own little hovel. <laughs> Are very... Oh, that's new. Ooh. I gotta be careful. If I take an arrow to the knee, we're finished. Well, guys. <sighs> ah! <clears throat> oh, God. Camera. <laughs> it's been fun. And I will see you all next time. Good night.